Monarchism is the advocacy of a monarch or monarchical rule. A monarchist is an individual who supports this form of government, independent of any specific monarch. One who espouses a particular monarch is a royalist. Conversely, the opposition to monarchical rule is sometimes referred to as republicanism. Depending on the country, a monarchist may advocate for the rule of the person who sits on the throne, a pretender, or someone who would otherwise occupy the throne but has been deposed. Topic. History Monarchical rule is among the oldest political institutions. Monarchy has often claimed legitimacy from a higher power in early modern Europe the divine right of kings, and in China the mandate of heaven. In England, royalty ceded power elsewhere in a gradual process. In 1215, a group of nobles forced King John to sign the Magna Carta, which guaranteed its barons certain liberties and established that the king's powers were not absolute. In 1687-88, the Glorious Revolution and the overthrow of King James II established the principles of constitutional monarchy, which would later be worked out by Locke and other thinkers. However, absolute monarchy, justified by Hobbes in Leviathan 1651, remained a prominent principle elsewhere. In the 18th century, Voltaire and others encouraged enlightened absolutism which was embraced by the Holy Roman Emperor Joseph II and by Catherine II of Russia. In the late 18th century, the American Revolution and the French Revolution were both additional steps in the weakening of power of European monarchies. Each in its different way exemplified the concept of popular sovereignty upheld by Jean-Jacques Rousseau. 1848 then ushered in a wave of revolutions against the continental European monarchies. World War I and its aftermath saw the end of three major European monarchies, the Russian Romanov dynasty, the German Hohenzollern dynasty, including all other German monarchies and the Austro-Hungarian Habsburg dynasty. The rise of the Hungarian Soviet Republic in 1919 provoked an increase in support for monarchism, however, efforts by Hungarian monarchists failed to bring back a royal head of state, and the monarchists settled for a regent, Admiral Miklos Horthy, to represent the monarchy until it could be restored. Horthy was regent from 1920 to 1944. In similar wise the 1938 autocratic state of Franco in Spain claimed to have reconstituted the Spanish monarchy in absentia and in this case ultimately yielded to a restoration, in the person of King Juan Carlos. In 1920s Germany a number of monarchists gathered around the German National People's Party which demanded the return of the Hohenzollern monarchy and an end to the Weimar Republic. The party retained a large base of support until the rise of Nazism in the 1930s. With the arrival of socialism in Eastern Europe by the end of 1947, the remaining Eastern European monarchies, namely the Kingdom of Romania, the Kingdom of Hungary, the Kingdom of Albania, the Kingdom of Bulgaria and the Kingdom of Yugoslavia, were all abolished and replaced by socialist republics. The aftermath of World War II also saw the return of monarchist and republican rivalry in Italy, where a referendum was held on whether the state should remain a monarchy or become a republic. The republican side won the vote by a narrow margin, and the modern Republic of Italy was created. Monarchism as a political force internationally has substantially diminished since the end of the Second World War, though it had an important role in the 1979 Iranian Revolution and also played a role in the modern political affairs of Nepal. Nepal was one of the last states to have had an absolute monarch, which continued until King Ganendra was peacefully deposed in May 2008 and the country became a federal republic. One of the world's oldest monarchies was abolished in Ethiopia in 1974 with the fall of Emperor Haile Selassie. Topic. Current monarchies The majority of current monarchies are constitutional monarchies. 
In most of these, the monarch wields only symbolic power, although in some, the monarch does play a role in political affairs. In Thailand, for instance, King Bhumibol Adulyadeh, who reigned from 1946 to 2016, played a critical role in the nation's political agenda and in various military coups. Similarly, in Morocco, King Muhammad VI wields significant, but not absolute power. Liechtenstein is a democratic principality whose citizens have voluntarily given more power to their monarch in recent years. There remain a handful of countries in which the monarch is the true ruler. The majority of these countries are oil-producing Arab Islamic monarchies like Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, Qatar, Oman, and the United Arab Emirates. Other strong monarchies include Brunei and Swaziland. Topic. Justifications for monarchism Absolute monarchy stands as an opposition to anarchism and, additionally from the Age of Enlightenment, liberalism, and communism. Otto von Habsburg advocated a form of constitutional monarchy based on the primacy of the supreme judicial function, with hereditary succession, mediation by a tribunal as warranted if suitability is problematic. Nonpartisan head of state A monarchy has been justified on the grounds that it provides for a nonpartisan head of state, separate from the head of government, and thus ensures that the highest representative of the country, at home and internationally, does not represent a particular political party, but all people. Topic. Safeguard for liberty The International Monarchist League, founded in 1943, has always sought to promote monarchy on the grounds that it strengthens popular liberty, both in a democracy and in a dictatorship, because by definition the monarch is not beholden to politicians. British-American libertarian writer Matthew Feeney, on the occasion of the birth of Prince George of Cambridge, the likely future King of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland and the Commonwealth Realms, in 2013, wrote. Topic. Connection to the past Since the middle of the 19th century, some monarchists have stopped defending monarchy on the basis of abstract, universal principles applicable to all nations or even on the grounds that a monarchy would be the best or most practical government for the nation in question but prefer invoking local symbolic grounds that they would be a particular nation's link to the past. Hence, post-19th century debates on whether to preserve a monarchy or to adopt a republican form of government have often been debates over national identity, with the monarch generally serving as a symbol for other issues. For example, in countries like Belgium and the Netherlands anti-monarchist talk is often centered on the perceived symbolism of a monarch contrasting with those nations' political culture of egalitarianism. In Belgium, another factor are the anti-Belgian sentiments of the separatist Flemish movement. The latter see the monarchy as a predominantly francophone institution of which the historical roots lie in the French-speaking elite that ruled Belgium until circa 1950s. In Canada and Australia, by contrast, debates over monarchy represent or represented debates whose driving force concerned each nation's relationship with the United Kingdom and the cultural heritage that this relationship represents. Topic. Human desire for hierarchy In a 1943 essay in The Spectator, Equality. British author C.S. Lewis criticized egalitarianism, and its corresponding call for the abolition of monarchy, as contrary to human nature, writing, where men are forbidden to honor a king they honor millionaires, athletes, or film stars instead, even famous prostitutes or gangsters. For spiritual nature, like bodily nature, will be served, deny it food and it will gobble poison.
Topic: Support for the restoration of monarchy. This is a list of countries showing support for the restoration of a previously abolished monarchy. Topic: Monarchists. Topic: American. Charles A. Coulomb, born 1960. Topic: Australian. Dame Joan Sutherland, 1926 to 2010. Tony Abbott, born 1957. Russell Crowe, born 1964. Topic: Austrian. Topic: Brazilian. Topic: British. Topic: Canadian. Topic: Croatian. Topic: Czech. Adolf Born, 1930 to 2016. Miroslav Stepanek, 1923 to 2005. Topic: Fiji. Topic: Georgian. Elia II, Catholicos Patriarch of All Georgia, born 1933. Salome Zorabikvili, born 1952. Topic: German. Topic: Greek. Topic Hungarian Joseph Mine Senti, eighteen ninety two to nineteen seventy five Istvan Bethlen, eighteen seventy four to nineteen forty six Albert Aponi, eighteen forty six to nineteen thirty three Gyula C. Sesnecki, nineteen fourteen Margit Slatcha, eighteen eighty four to nineteen seventy four Topic Japan Yoshiko Sakurai, born nineteen forty five Yukio Mishima, nineteen twenty five to nineteen seventy Topic Malaysia An Jaffer, eighteen ninety five to nineteen sixty two Topic Mauritius Naveen Ramgulam, born nineteen forty seven. Topic Polish Topic Portuguese Topic Russian Anton Bikov, born nineteen sixty five Nikolai Tolstoy, born nineteen thirty five Natalia Poklonskaya, born nineteen eighty Vladimir Zhiranovsky, born nineteen forty six Topic Turkish Nazim Kibrisi, nineteen twenty two to twenty fourteen 
Abdul Karim Kibrisi, 1957 to 2012. Kader Misarolu, born 1933. Topic: Yugoslav. Dmitri Alotic, 1891 to 1945. Draza Mihailovic, 1893 to 1946. Topic. See also. Abolished monarchy. Dark Enlightenment. Legitimists. List of kingdoms and royal dynasties. Neo-reactionary movement. Reactionary modernism. Royalism. <laughs>